Hi, my name is Brayton Dorr, and this is my Module 6 assignment. So what we had to do is we had to read an article about catfishing, and then we were asked to find if they were legally liable for what they did. And when you think of the term catfishing, there's a very famous TV show called Catfish where they go and they expose somebody for not being who they really are. That's going to be most of the catfishing um, that happens. It's going to be emotional and relational. You can't go to a judge and say, well, this person broke my heart pretending to be someone else. That's not going to happen. No judge is going to pass saying that, yes, you, you deserve money from that. However, if you are talking to someone and they are posing as something that they are not and it involves a physical transaction of items or a monetary transaction, then that's a different case. So if I pretend to be a car mechanic know nothing about cars and then I go work on somebody's car and they end up injured I am definitely liable that they should know me and not have done it in the first place but I am the one who's liable if I pretend to be a firefighter and tell people that they need to do things because there's a problem there's a problem somewhere with something and those people then get hurt because I was pretending to be something I was not. I am liable. And that is very much so where I would come in here. Like if I am paying someone for a service that they claim to be proficient in and they are not proficient in that, then they are liable. Unless there is a, unless there is a quantifiable transaction with proof of transaction, there's no way for these things to be held legally liable nor should emotional damage like that be held legally viable for money in the court system. But that's just an opinion. Thank you.